fans, in this video, we will guide you on how to set up Stable Diffusion Web UI locally in Windows. To get started, I already opened a terminal window on my left screen, and on the right side is the link sources that we will need later on. Before we start this video, make sure your PC met with Stable Diffusion system requirements. Before we do any downloads, you need to make sure your current version of Python is compatible with Stable Diffusion. You will require Python 3.10.6 to run Stable Diffusion from your local computer. This can be installed from the official Python websites. Next, you also need to check the latest version of Git. So both versions are updated. Now, let's type git clone and paste the link of Stable Diffusion's GitHub over here. And we'll just wait for the system to download all the files from GitHub. So, all the files are stored inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, and I have downloaded two checkpoints previously for the Stable Diffusion model. Let's put these two models inside the correct folder. You can download the two base checkpoints through Hugging Face. Next, to access the Stable Diffusion Web UI, we click this Web UI user file, and a terminal window will pop up. It will show all the running script. While all the script is being loaded, we just need to wait until it shows an HTTP URL. The progress speed may vary from each computer, but if the script ever stopped running, just click the web UI user again and relaunch it. Once the URL is shown, open your browser and paste the URL on the address bar. And Stable Diffusion is accessible locally now. This is the main interface every time you access Stable Diffusion. All the progress, whether you change your base models or use other extensions, you can still track it in the terminal windows as shown on the left. And now, using the V15 base model, I will type portrait of a woman and see what image will it generate. On the left window, it's an example of the progress bar whenever you generate images. If you want to accelerate the image generation speed, you can add another command by editing the txt file in the web UI dash user. Just add the command line dash xformers and save the file. Now, let's relaunch the web UI dash user again. The script is currently installing the xformers and we'll just wait until it ends. You can see on the terminal that the script is installing the xformers, so let's just wait. To enable the Xformers, close the old Stable Diffusion tab and copy and paste the new URL in your browser. Now, your Stable Diffusion speed should have increased. It helps to optimize the image generation and reducing VRAM usage. Also, if you want to try other models, you can access CivitAI.com and download all the models for free. To download the file, just click this blue button, Download, and save it in the Models folder again. Now, let me copy it from the Downloads folder and then paste it onto the Models folder. Now, I'm gonna relaunch the web UI to see the new model. Copy and paste the URL in your Browser tab and then select the new model from this tab. If it doesn't show, just click the Refresh button. I'll just copy this text prompt from Civit AI and generate a similar text to image like this. And remember, the terminal will show the progress bar for every generation steps. To see the generated images files, just go to the Stable Diffusion folder and select Output. Select Text to Image, and it will sort out the outputs based on the dates. There are so many models to choose from Civit AI, and feel free to experiment in Stable Diffusion. And that concludes for today's video. If you have any questions or want to discuss more, join an Alpha's community in Discord or Telegram. Link in the description box below. Don't hesitate to ask and we'll help you swiftly. Until next time.